There All we right. go. Yeah, there it. we go. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Glambeau Field. I am Joe Buck. <laughs> oh, Detroit. fuck. Fuck you, Joe Buck. Fuck you, Joe Boo. Oh, God. Everybody hates Joe Buck. I have no problem with Joe Buck. Uh, he tries to do too much, in my opinion, Joe Buck. It's either stick to football, stick to baseball. You do better as a baseball announcer. Well, Fox doesn't have a lot of people, so, you know, they put Joe Buck in there, and he no, works. But, but, you know, you couldn't just... You have hey. Fox, but yet you couldn't just... You, uh, you need to groom another fucking Madden. We need Dennis Leary back, or Dennis Miller back. No, God, no. God, no. <laughs> that's what it was like. That's what it was like when Yabby Yakutori said, what, what are you talking about? Shut up. Yeah, like, but at least at and, least and just we, someone understood him. It wasn't you, like, well, you know what? Uh, These guys over here, and boom! Tough down into acting. Well, people like John Madden because I they love, felt smarter than him. I love John Madden, though. John that's Madden... Yeah, well, Madden's entertaining. The thing is, you, the thing you can say about Joe Buck and Troy Aikman, um, at least Joe Buck and Troy Aikman, you're not falling asleep during the pot, during the freaking uh, broadcast like Jim Nance and Phil Sims. That is very true. Jim Nance and Phil Sims, oh my God. And here we go. And Denver. And it's a pass. Back to pass. Ten yards. With freaking Phil Sims. Yeah, what he did there, he passed the ball. And if you see, look at it, the jersey. And did, 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 I'm like, shut up. Hey, Phil, you're on see, CBS, we, but yet you played most of your time on Fox. Well, no, he actually played most of his time on CBS, actually. See, uh, yeah, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. No, back in the 80s, Phil Sims played on CBS because the NFC package was on CBS. Oh, that's right. And, the and NFC then, yeah. It was on NBC. WN. Go back to WNBC. Old, that's right. That's why if you go back to old telecast back in the 80s of like the Broncos and the Browns, you're hearing Dick Enberg and Marv Elbert. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can we just. Can we just say that Jimmy Greek was one of the better ones? Eh, I don't know and, about that. And you know, and Jimmy the most and the most racist people. And the most racist. Well, yeah, the most racist. I'll give him that. <laughs> that or like extreme, um, extremely most racist. But I have no problem with Joe Buck because Joe Buck, it, he might be a little condescending and he might be a little uh, douchey, but at least he's entertaining. He's like Manning back to pass. God. God, and you're like, yeah! It's like Al Michaels. Yeah, well, no, nobody beats Michaels in Madden. Al Michaels in Madden. Uh, Pat Summerall in John Madden. Summerall in Madden was good. Yeah, all right. Let's get to talk some sports here since uh, we are uh, short-lived on sports, and we got the Porties coming up at 7. Woo! It's 7 or 7.30? Seven, 7. Okay, so let's uh, jump right in. Okay, uh, first, uh, Ronda Rousey fought in, 2000, in UFC 207. Well, you could use that term loosely. She got hit by uh, a Rousey. man. She got knocked out. Well, she didn't get knocked out. She got TKO'd. She didn't go down. She held on to the cage and didn't go down, but her being stopped the fight 40 sec 48 seconds in, and Amanda Nunes is now the Bantamweight champion. And also coming up in February, Holly Holm takes on, I forgot who it is. I forgot the name. It, it escapes me right now. For the yeah. 145, the featherweight, which is a title that Dana White originally offered Christian Cyborg Santos the title Ugh. fight, which she turned down. Because Gee, she I wonder she why. Have, she didn't have 12 weeks. She only had 10 weeks to prepare 
instead of 12 weeks. Do, you do, know, she has like you know, to hide her, of excuses. you know, to hide her dick. Dude, she has a laundry list of excuses. Like, it's, it's like the excuse go round. It's like the wheel of excuses. Like, cream. Uh, my trainers want to train harder to fight. One thirty. Please give me the car. 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 Ah, oh, it's excuse nope. number fifty-four. <laughs> yep, steroids. <laughs> it was only a masking agent. <laughs> She's a well, man, she baby. I, I fight more. I fight more comfortably at one forty-five, but then she can't even make one forty-five. This is why Ronda won't. Only... This is why Ronda won't face her. Well, she won't anyway anymore. No, no she won't. Well, she's done. Like Ronda's done. I mean, I mean hey, I'm perfectly should come under. I'm perfectly Ever okay with that. Whatever the hell it is. Yeah, he needs to come under fire. I'm perfectly okay with Ronda being fire? done, but you know what that means. Yeah. Hey, Vince, sign her. Well, what that also means is that the UFC really needs to find a new female cash cow. Oh, yeah. I mean, if anything, they're probably going to push Paige Van Zant to the hills. You know, like especially if she can win. The problem is yeah. she lost her last fight. So that didn't really good. Because like, oh, she's on Dancing with the Stars. This is perfect. And, and then they, she dropped. And it's gone. Or they're going to really push Holly home. Yeah, or they're really going to push Holly home. Or they might can, push Shevchenko or whatever. But I can see Holly Holmes getting need. pushed. Yeah, but what they need they need someone who's comfortable in front of a microphone who will be an ambassador for that, you know, basically a face of that division. They need somebody that's uncomfortable in front of a microphone. And I hate to say it because it's going to sound so nationalist, but they have to be North American. They have to be American or Canadian. Yeah, they you have can't really have... I mean... Yeah, you can't have a Brazilian... Be the American face. No, you can't. I mean, you can have Anderson Silva for the longest time because, like, you know, it was his fighting, you know, basically spoke for whatever he needed to say. But at that same time, when Silva was champ, they also had, like, George St. Pierre. They had, you know, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, you were praying you know, also. A lot of people... Guys. A lot of people were also praying to God that he would get knocked out. Right. You need somebody. Well, that's what's going to happen to the face eventually. Like, somebody's going to be the face of the division or the sport or whatever, and as many people love them, like Rousey, there are a bunch of people that, you know, want them gone because they think it'll be better. But the thing is, when you think it'll be better, that's actually worse because how many – all right, I went to sports bars – for UFC fights before, right? Yeah. And I went, I'll, I'll compare quick a non Rousey card to a Rousey card. A non Rousey card, I was able to move, I was able to be there. The fight would start at 10. The card would start at 10. I could get there at 9 45 and be guaranteed a spot. Be guaranteed a seat, no problem whatsoever. Yeah. You know, and that you know, and it's and and you know, it would fill up a little bit, but not like crazy. Rousey fights, you better be there at eight o'clock. Yeah, you better be there by three fight. Yeah, you better be there by eight o'clock to get a table, and then as the night goes on, like as it gets to ten to eleven, even it becomes a madhouse where you can barely stay, you can barely move. You better get your food. You better get your drink. I mean, waitresses are, like, basically weaving in between people and tables. There was one waitress I saw go under a table mm. to get somebody a drink. I mean, it is that crazy. Like, it was a madhouse. And, and forget talking about anything else other than watching the fight because you're not going to be able to hear yourself. I think the worst it thing like ever... The worst thing that I've ever had to sit through, I went to Hooters... 
it was Sunday night. It was the night of a like it was night of WrestleMania, or it was not WrestleMania. It was like a SummerSlam or Survivor. No, Survivor Series. Yeah. It was Survivor Series. So big, big, big re- pay per view. Also that same night, Giants Cowboys, eight o'clock. Oh. Ooh, like, all right. I mean, I'll I'll push this. I mean, I'll compare like the the crowd that was for a Rousey fight, and it I think it was Korea, and this was in like uh, like Central Jersey, and it was packed. I mean, it was almost like the Super Bowl. Yeah. And then I went to Miller's Ale House, in, like where I live, in Willow Grove, and, and that was for Rousey Tate. Rousey Tate. And that was so packed. It was like the Super Bowl. It was insane. Like, you could barely move. There were people that were actually watching the fights on the TV from their cars in the parking lot. Oh, I've 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 been in that with Hooters. You, if you couldn't get a seat, good luck. Yeah, like you were you were basically there were people that were hanging out outside, and it was like twenty degrees. They were hanging out outside watching the fights. There were people that were like in the parking lot in their cars watching the fights. It was ridiculous. And with that cash cow gone now. You, you know, it's, they need they need somebody to drive those pay per view sales, those ticket sales. They need somebody to do that, and I don't know if they're going to have somebody. I mean, people could say, "Oh, well, you know, Nunez will take that spot." I don't think so. No, because there are already a lot of people that are like, "Who?" <laughs> like, "Oh, okay, whatever." She's good, I mean, there, but she's there, there not. Yeah, like, there have already people I've talked to that have been like, so are you going to continue to watch fights, you know, in post-Rousey? They're like, eh, maybe a couple, but probably not. I mean, I mean that's it, just the fact. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It, it, yeah. it sucks because it's, I guarantee you're not going to get another big crowd for casual fighters is until McGregor fights. Yeah, and that's not going to be for like ten and a half months. Yeah. Um, All right, but we need to move on since we're doing a short show here. Oh, very short. Well, not a short yeah, show. Supporting. We're doing a short. We're doing a short <laughs> nerd zone. We are not doing a short show. That's yes. for damn sure. Yes. Yes, the nerd zone is short. Yes. Um, Rose Bowl. Oh my God. What a fucking game. Yes. I'll say that straight up. What a fucking, goddamn game. Yeah. I, I'm, when we were in the middle of doing our podcast yesterday, I had the Rose Bowl in the background. And I'm like, <laughs> it's third quarter. Oh, and it, it came right when the two touchdowns came back to back. For Penn State. Oh my god, that was insanity, dude. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, this state, I wonder if, the, and I'm, my first question was, are they gonna hold this out? For like, like, the first two, the funniest part is like, they opened the half. They opened the half down by seven. Or down by six, sorry. Down by six. Within three minutes, they were up by like, I by think it was ten. two scores. Yeah, they were up by ten, and you're like, "What the hell?" Like it was just shocking. It was just incredibly shocking. And then, yeah. And then the collapse. Uh, the partial, the oh partial, co- yeah. the the partial collapse. When yeah. I heard that, uh, and I'm like, like I had to get up early, and I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Well, what happened with that was, I'll tell you exactly what happened with that one. It was, it's basically, 
you live by the gun, you die by the gun. Yeah. That's what it is. You live by the gun, you die by the gun. Like, that's all I can say about that. Like, you you live by the gun, you die by the gun. (laughs) That's it. And McSorley's a gunslinger. I mean, tell you one thing, though. Watching Penn, uh, Penn State will have a lot of primetime games next year. Oh, that's for damn sure. This com- Oh, this coming season, Penn State will have a lot of primetime games. I mean, a lot. <laughs> Penn State will have a ton. Like, with that, and, and oh, the best part, though, the best part was Saturday night. Watching the Buckeyes. Everybody's oh. like, oh, Iowa State's such a great team. They're a better team. They're a better And they get donuted. That was beautiful. <laughs> yep. Oh. They got, oh, they got cornholed. And then a Clemson player actually, like, hit a guy in his cornhole. I mean, they just you fucking. Oh, dude. I watched the game. It was just sad. And I'm like, yeah, Ohio State's the better team, right? Yeah, Ohio State, ugh. Huh. They didn't have a shot. I mean, Clemson didn't embarrass them. Deshaun Watson yeah. was just amazing. Wayne Gallman was insane. They were so good. I mean, And now you, you got Alabama Clemson 2, the rematch. Did you think that they, uh... Had a little um, chip on their shoulder, Penn State, last night that they didn't get put in? Oh, they did, but the thing is they didn't finish. So it doesn't matter. I mean, you. Ha- but the thing is you have some crazy quarterback play that co- down the line could be for a national title with Trace McSorley and Sam Darnold. Like, but I don't know how USC is going to be without Juju Smith-Schuster. And a couple other players. But Penn State's mostly young, so their guys are staying. Yeah, I think they said they had nine returning freshmen. Or nine returning men on defense. That's crazy. Yeah, like, Penn State's good to go. Saquon Barkley's coming back, and oh, it's going to be great. So, um, let's get the I mean, Oklahoma wins over Auburn. I, I turned the game off after they went up 28-13, <laughs> and John Franklin uh, put Auburn to a great three and out. Like, with it, like in 30 seconds, three and out. Just like, done. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. So, and so, also the group of five is saying they want their own playoff since they can't get put in the playoff. But here's the thing, schedule better. I mean, yeah, there's nothing there's the, nothing stopping them for that. Yeah, it's like if you schedule cupcakes, don't be crying when you're 13 and 0 and you know your cupcake schedule has landed you maybe like the top 15 and the New Year's Six Bowl. Like if you're going to cry and moan about who you play and be like, "Oh, well, we're undefeated, blah blah blah, we should have a shot." Then schedule better. Like, ugh, it, it's annoying. That people go, oh, well, you know, they were undefeated. Yeah, I, it's great. Yeah, it's a tough feat to go undefeated. I don't care who you are. But if you want to be playing in the national championship playoff, then you need to schedule. Oh, yeah, that's hands down. That's that, what they need. That, that means, like, you know, when you're not in your – if they're in the MAC, right? When you're, not, when you're in the MAC, you should be playing – when you're not in your MAC schedule, you should be playing teams from the SEC. The Big Ten, the Big Twelve, and not the cupcakes yeah. either. I'm talking about the decent to be higher echelon. If you're serious about this, if PJ Fleck is serious about Western Michigan, you know, contending for titles, they need to play the Tennessees of the world. They need to play the Alabama. Well, they can't play Alabama, but they need to play the Auburn, the LSU's, the USC's, the Washington. They need to play those teams. They need a booster schedule because they're going to be playing a max schedule, which when Miami of Ohio is one of your hardest team, hardest opponents, then you have a problem. Yeah, exactly. 
I mean, the only team that from the group of five that had a shot at it was Houston. That was the only team. Yeah. And they lost to Navy, and they lost to SMU. So, and then they lost to Kentucky. Yeah, and then yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, you ready for some playoff talk? Uh, yes. Since we gotta go quick, all right. So we got. Uh, well, actually, Lions. you know what? You know what? Since uh, what the fuck, JP? You said you called. Oh, he's on the phone. He's actually on the phone. Okay. <laughs> he he didn't call in. He's on what, the phone want... right now. He's. I was gonna say if JP. I thought JP was calling in. Oh, you want to wait? No, 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 no. Playoffs with him? No, or... we could we could all go right, let's talk if playoffs. he calls. If he calls in, he can jump on, but till then. All right. All right, we'll talk playoffs here quick. Uh, in the AFC, you have the Dolphins traveling to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers, but we open up with the Raiders and the Texans in the backup bowl. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's the, back, it's the backup bowl. Like, will Matt, McGloin, will Matt McGloin actually start for the Raiders? We don't know. It's probably going to be Connor Cook. And if you, you can't judge anything with Connor Cook from the Raiders. You have to watch him play last year in Michigan State. So, eh, eh, who knows? But then you have the number one defense, number one team in total defense in the Houston Texans taking on the Raiders, which if Derek, they haven't, they've proven so far, without Derek Carr, they're not that good. Yeah, no. <clears throat> um, yeah, they're they're not that good. I mean, if I had to pick a team, like as much as I don't want to do this because I, I I was looking forward to the Raiders, I, I have to pick the Texans. Yes, I can't um, believe I have to pick. I'm gonna pick a team that can't score 17 to beat a team that should be able to score 30. <laughs> Because uh, they don't have a quarterback. Yeah, agreed. I think I think Houston's winning that too. Uh, just it, it, un, unproven quarterback. They got an unproven quarterback. I know, and they're starting. And even though he, the Texans are starting Brock Osweiler, I mean Osweiler has experience. Yeah, not not quote unquote proven, but somewhat proven. I mean, he played in the playoffs last year, and he was damn good. What do you think? Like, a lot of people said that when they took Manning out, what? No, I think, Sean, you in? yoo Sh- have... Sean. I'm here. I don't really know what to think. You don't know what to think about the but... NFL. I, I don't. I, I like no teams. I don't know players, so. Well, no. Who do you think is going to win, right, Oakland or Houston? I guess Houston. Okay. So there it's a clean is, sweep there. Car, car is out. Car is out. I mean, we don't know about McGloin. Connor Cook, who knows? But Osweiler, I mean, back in the playoffs last year, people said that Osweiler should have took over for Peyton Manning anyway. They said Manning hurt the team in the playoffs. Yeah. Hey, Sean, we don't know about McGloin, but we know about McCacks. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Horrible. No, that's actual monkey, you dumbass. So, all right. Well, then we have the Steelers <laughs> and the Dolphins, and that could be a good. That could be a good game. That could be a good game because, I mean, Tannehill may play. You don't know. But the thing is, can the Steelers stop Jay Ajayi? Ajayi. Yeah, can they stop Jay Ajayi? Probably not. It's exciting because this is the first time the Steelers have had Antonio Brown, Ben Roethlisberger, and Le'Veon Bell healthy in the playoffs. So that's scary. See, here's the thing. <clears throat> Even though they won't probably be able to stop, where is it? It's in Pittsburgh? Yeah, it's in Pittsburgh. What's the, you know, what's the temperature? It's going to be cold. 
So Pittsburgh all the way because there's no way I don't think a Johnny gonna be able to take those hits all game long. Could. All right. Then on Saturday we get Seattle Detroit. This is the game where Dallas Cowboy fans are praying. Dallas Cowboy fans want the Lions to beat the Seahawks. Because hey, then regardless of whatever happens in the ne- other What's game, that? the Cowboys play the Lions. <laughs> so um, Cowboy fans are on their knees praying that Detroit can somehow beat Seattle. Yeah, that ain't happening. No shit, it ain't happening. <laughs> what do you guys think? Quick, We're doing a quick rundown, then we're starting. Detroit versus yeah. uh, Detroit, Seattle. Who do you got? Seattle. There you go. Seattle. You, uh, of course, Seattle. I'm not a Cowboys fan, but Cowboys fans are like, Lord and God in Texas, please, God, can the Detroit Lions beat the Seattle Seahawks? And God's not a Cowboys fan. Then we have the most intriguing matchup, which is the Giants at the Packers. I mean, I'm going to say it right now. I'll say it right now. The winner of that game goes to the Super Bowl. Wow. Right there. Yeah, um, I could see that. And I... I, I don't have right now the best. Yeah, it, it's it's I mean, going to be an interesting right. game. They're both stalemate games. This is both both offense versus an amazing defense. Uh, for some reason, defense yeah. Wins cha- defense wins championships, and the X factor or like the wild card part is if playoff Eli actually shows up, and the offense shows up they could really make the Giants a hard team to get out. Yeah, but that lies the problem, which Eli is going to show up. It's the playoffs, and Eli has a pretty impeccable record in the playoffs. So I'm, I'm on the playoff Eli thing right there. And the thing is also, people seem to forget this. In the playoffs, Eli is 2-0 in Lambeau. Very true. Oh. Yeah. I mean, Rodgers is playing like a buzzsaw, but the thing is, a buzzsaw quarterback running into a defense that is basically playing the public enemy song, shut him down all the time. You run See, in, the quarterback runs into a problem. Here's the thing. This is why they went out and spent all that money. So Giants have to, the Giants have to produce. Yeah, I was telling my coworker, I'm like, whoever plays the Cowboys of these two teams, you're either going to have a Fallout Boy song, light them up, or you're going to have Public Enemy song, which is shut them down. Yeah. But whichever, regardless of who, whoever wins this game beats the Cowboys. I'll say that uh, right now. Yeah, I can see the that. Cow- their defense, the Cowboys defense is not that good. Their passing game is not that good. They have Zeke. That's it. And if you keep Zeke out of the end zone, you basically beat the Cowboys. Yeah. And, like, can can the Cowboys' corners match up with the Packers' wide receivers? No. Probably not. We've already already found out that the Cowboys' offense can't match the Giants' defense. We've already found out that the Giants' defense has shut down the Cowboys. And the Cowboys' corners... Yeah, and the Cowboys' corners can't guard Odell Beckham to save their lives. No. And this is before Paul Perkins had a big role in the offense. Like, the Giants are getting hot. They needed that win at Washington. They got it. I mean, they basically put tears in the eyes of the Capitals because they thought they were going to the playoffs. Yeah. I mean... Two, two teams peaking at the right time. It's going to be a hell of a game. And that's why I say whoever wins this game goes to the Super Bowl. 
But if they don't, Cause they I might- blame the wide receivers for going to Florida and partying with Justin Bieber. Oh, God. Did you hear what Eli said about that? He's like, he was disappointed in that, how they, um, they were unprepared in the way they packed. They didn't have any <laughs> t-shirts, any shorts, any flip-flops. It's like, what the hell? But, and I'm sorry, Sean, you're going to hate me when I say this. I can't take Atlanta seriously because they keep giving up 30 points a game. Nah, I feel you. <laughs> there it is. I mean, when you give up, like, a regular, like, 24 to 30 points a game, I'm sorry, the Dan Marino way of, like, playing football doesn't work. This isn't college where you can outscore people and not play defense. Uh, it doesn't work. All right, let's keep going because we got to get to the – we got to get to the parties. All right, so – all right, picks, picks. Giants. You going Giants? I'm going Giants just barely, though. Giants by a field goal. Game, Giants. Giants by a field goal in overtime. Giants by a touchdown. Ooh. Giants by four. Oh, by the way, Osweiler the is a, a Osweiler is officially starting. I know. In the backup bowl. I'm still taking the Texans regardless. Yeah. Because Connor Cook, really? All right. Next one. Yeah, that, and that's a shame for Oakland. They had the they had the two C, possibly even a one wrapped up before I, Carr breaks his leg. Here's the thing, though. And who did I he break told, his leg against? But I, I told you, Chris. Him. I told you, Cleveland. I told you, Kansas City was winning that division. Yeah. Well, when Carr went out with a broken leg against the Jets, I expected it. And KC and Pittsburgh are... God damn it, the one corner. time I don't have the my leg sound drop. <laughs> my leg, my leg. He's broken, he's broken. He broke it in half. Oh, man. He got a feel for Derek Carr. Because the Raiders had it. They were yeah. hot, and then just... So now we got Connor Cook, who looks like creator wrestler. Uh. If you look at his face, he looks like creator wrestler guy. <laughs> Chris just wrote in. No, wrestler. someone just wrote. Someone wrote in uh, chat because we're on Twitch. He goes, he did a Sid Vicious. Basically. <laughs> oh. Boom. Oh, I was expecting yeah. to have any cowboy. All right, in the Twitch chat, do we have any Cowboy fans that were angry? No, he's a Giant fan. It's Chris. That's it's, right. Uh, is, yeah. is it Turpak, Ronnie? Yeah, it's tur- it's Turpak. <laughs> the fact right, that he's... So hold on, hold on, hold together. on. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Are we good with the porties here? All right, we're all set with we're the forties. Uh, do you have like a you know intro thing or just no? We'll just let's just go right in. I can do that post. Okay, here and on a side note, before we get into that, the Giants allow the second least point allow the second least points per game in the entire league. First was New England, Atlanta allowed the fifth most per game. <laughs> like I said before, like who win, who wins the Giants the Giants Packers game is either gonna be light them up, light them up, or I shut them down, shut them down. And Green them, Bay down. Green Bay allows twenty four almost twenty five a game. Yeah, and their de- and their like their secondary is ugh. like somebody's like, oh they have they played amazing Sunday. I'm like, yeah, against the Lions. Who basically, if you stop Golden Tate, you stop the line. Yeah, like pretty much. Be interesting, that's for sure. Yeah, what? What are you going to say, Ronnie? I said pretty much. Yeah, so. Yeah. So it looks like it's going to be the Texans probably going to 
New England. <laughs> oh, boy. Who was it? Uh, Bomani said that he looked at the playoff bracket and he's like, it's looking really giancy. Looking giancy. Yeah. So, all right. You you want to get into these uh, into these discussions? All righty. No intros. We'll just jump right in. Do you want to start with sports, wrestling, video games? And then they have that one category. We have, we have the overrated movie category. And and the movie. Which nobody voted. Oh, people did vote? All right. Some people did. Why don't, we just, why don't we just get the oddball out of the way, if everybody's cool with that? All right. Most overrated movie of the year. Uh, and the nominees were Ghostbusters, Civil War, Rogue One, Magnificent Seven, and Fantastic Beaks, Beast... And where to find them. And I had a write-in thing for Don't Breathe. And Don't Breathe. Which Uh, made my top ten shit bombs of 2016. Yeah, overrated. I'm voting for Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah, I I got one there, too. Um, Sausage Party. Oh, really? Damn! Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Woo! I'll explain why. Me and my girlfriend went to go see that. And I laughed at like one part of it. And that was the very end. I did not think it was funny at all. Damn. Uh, Turpac also votes for Sausage Party. Turpac is a smart man. (laughs) All right. I guess. Since I came up with the nominees, I guess I'll... Well, most of the nominees, I'll explain. Oh, my <laughs> okay. Ghostbusters, Why? of course. <laughs> Why not? Eh. Ghostbusters, because... I mean, it was... Critically... Like, critics loved it because, you know, they didn't want to be known as misogynist, but... When you get down to it, like, outside of the female cast, like, the whole the whole supporting cast, there was nothing there. There was nothing in the supporting cast. It was, like, the four female leads and then nothing. Oh, yeah, and no. It, wasn't and it, like, Liam like, oh, Hensworth in that movie or something? Chris Hensworth. Chris is Thor. Oh, Chris. Fucking Thor was in this. And before someone say, oh, well, Chris Hemsworth can't act outside of Thor. Cabin in the woods, bitch. No, he can act. Oh, I know. I know. And also CG. Like, how the hell do you have a ghost, the final fight, in New York City, and it looks like a ghost town? Again, in New York City. Oh, and then it also doesn't help that they killed, spoilers, by the way, they killed the ghost by hitting him in the balls. In the balls. Yeah. In the balls. In the balls. All right. All right. Civil oh, War. Fuck. All right. I guess I have to explain Civil War because some people might get angry about this one. Civil War because it was at 90 something on Rotten Tomatoes. People were like, it's the best comic book movie ever. And when I saw it, Yes, the airport scene is amazing. Spider-Man was great. But in order for the plot to happen, the whole every Avenger needs to like all of a sudden lose 100 points in their IQ. And the whole UN, United Nations, need to be fucking retards. And the fact that what Scarlet Witch did is like, no, now we have to force enforce the Sokovia Accords. On that makes no sense when you when world as a nation when worlds as a whole we're going to launch nukes which would kill billions and still not stop the problem. Let's just face it. it. Was, let's just it call was, civil. Let's call civil war what it is. It is fucking fan fiction between Cap and Bucky. It was 
outside of that airport scene, it was two hours of get the fuck over yourself. <laughs> it was fan fiction. That's what it was. It was get the fuck over yourself. Oh my god. Like, it was something that we would. Well, it would something that we died. would see at. It would be something that me and Sean would see at one of our conventions. <laughs> like somebody's like, "Hey, you want to see Civil War?" Because it came on Netflix. So I'm like, "I'll watch the airport scene, and then I'm turning it the fuck off." <laughs> oh, get ready because it was get ready because bullshit. 2017, 2017, the most overhyped movie. I'm already calling it fucking Spider Man. No, the, all right, the most overrated movie of 2017, which, I mean, it's going to be overhyped, is the new Star Wars. I guarantee it. Oh, you mean the reskin of, uh, no. you mean the reskin of, um, Night, uh, Return of the Empire? Uh, or Empire dude, Strikes Back? Hey, Empire I'll, Strikes Back? I love, hey, I love The Force Awakens, so I'm not even going to start, like, well, it was, yeah, I liked The Force Awakens. I didn't mind it. It's just a yeah, fucking. It it's just a fucking rehash. <clears throat> Who gives a shit? Was it better than Attack of the Clones? Yes. So shut the yes. fuck up. Well, <laughs> well, apparently in Rogue One, Jar Jar Binks had a cameo. Uh, I didn't see it. Rogue One. Some people didn't like it. Some people loved it. I loved it. So I can't say anything bad about it, but I knew people I'm that about didn't to go like see it. it so. What's funny is, is I love the face. I love Facebook during this. Oh, please, no spoilers. The movie was spoiled for you forty fucking years ago. <laughs> spoilers. Watch a new hope. <laughs> it's over. Watch no. Watch the opening scroll of a new hope. That's it. <laughs> That's Rogue yeah, One. Rebels, Fucking stole, done. Rebels. Done. Game over. <laughs> Rebels who stole the plans, they died. <laughs> no shit. Oh my god. Magnificent Seven. Like, so I liked it. Some people didn't. They thought it was overhyped. I'm like, I don't know how it's, it was overhyped. It's got no. It's got the same issues as as Ghostbusters. <laughs> Just not with the female. It's no, the different. Mag Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, like, you're remaking a, uh, was it a Hested movie? I guess, yeah, it was a Charlton Heston Charles movie. Charlton Heston and, like, movie. a bunch of others, like. Yeah, and John Wayne, I think that's what it was. I think those were, that's what, in it. I liked it. Some people, I don't know. I, I could care less. I like the fact that Chris, I like Chris, I like Chris Pratt being in that. Again, right. it's going to be 2017 of, yeah. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Yeah, that was the other one. I, yeah, I I saw that and it was like, I think I called it Fantastic Sleep and Where to Find It. Because there were certain parts that were good, but certain parts were just boring as all hell. Oh my, I'm talking Deathly Hallows 1 boring. <sighs> Oh, God. Wow. I, I did not... Like, it It was good, but there were just certain parts just like... Oh, and it's just like, okay, so everybody was overhyped and people are going crazy for this. And I didn't even think it was one of the best Harry Potter, like, one of the best in the whole Harry Potter, like, genre. I like the like, darkness. I'll, I like the darkness. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll put it above Deathly Hallows 1 and uh, maybe Chamber of Secrets. But the other Harry Potter movies are far and away better than this. Yeah. I think, anyway. That's um, my, own per my own opinion. And then, I, Don't Breathe. How many people saw Don't Breathe? No. Nope. Didn't see Did you it. see Don't Breathe? No. Nope. Don't Oh my god. All right, let me just explain what I wrote on my ship bomb list. I remember when you were talking about this though. So Yeah. All right, you we were at CZ, we were at CZW like, when you talked about this. All right, let me here's what I have. Don't breathe. More like don't see. I went in with high hopes, heard the reviews were good and left without any care for anyone in this ship bomb. Who are we supposed to root for? Everyone was unlikable and the movie was just blah. 
was this the same flick critic screen? I'm seriously like, there's a blind guy. He's a war vet. You're like, okay, so he's going to be good. And then he turns out that he's raping some girl with a needle. And you're like, what? He's like, I need to, I didn't rape her because, you know, I didn't, I didn't uh, impregnate her. He's impregnating the girl, but he's basically doing it with a turkey bed facer. It's... So he's not, so he's not sticking his own dick in her. He's sticking a turkey baster a full of his spunk in her, and he thinks it's not rape. I'm he's, like, he's, that's the same thing. He's probing her ass. I'm like, is it against her will? And she was like, yeah. You know, is it against her will? <laughs> yes, it is. So it's rape. I don't care how you put it. It's rape. Yeah. Yes. And then you have. Then you have a girl that has a girl, and, like, she has all these chances to just escape the house, and she is more concerned with robbing him and getting the money. And then you have the other guys. There's nobody to root for. There is not a single soul to root for in this movie, and you're just like, why? Kill him. Kill them all. It was boring as fuck. All right, all right, there was one thing to root for, the dog. That's it. The guy's seeing eye dog. Yeah. That's it. That, that's all you could root for was the seeing eye dog. But, uh, so what are we going to give it to? I'll, I'll say, Ooh. I'll say don't see. <laughs> don't breathe. Don't breathe. <laughs> don't Be sleep. Don't sleep. Turn it to, yeah. Just because <laughs> of breathe. how, don't just because sleep. of. Just because of how over the top stupid it sounds, and how impassionate my speech was, right there. Yeah. <laughs> so like the movie I, itself. So JP is gonna get is JP stick, to it. is JP giving it to Sausage Party? Yeah, I'm going Sausage Party. I'm going. I'm giving it to Ghostbusters. Oh, now you're changing your mind. Right, no, I was breathe. making fun of it. I was just giving it to Ghost. I was already planning on giving it to Ghostbusters, but see, I, I, I was tired right, on how bad it sounded. Yeah. I'm voting don't breathe because it was horrible. The, I mean, I saw this in a matinee, and I just don't wanted breathe. to shoot myself. The, don't breathe gets the award, but Ghostbusters and Sausage but, Party are right there, too. Wait, you voted don't breathe, right? Yes. All right, so majority wins. Don't breathe is the most overrated piece of shit. Okay, now do we want to start wrestling, sports, video games? Wrestling. Yeah. Okay. Wrestling. All right, so wrestling. question question one was right. moment was moment of the year. Uh, James Ellsworth beat AJ Styles. Bill Goldberg beating Brock Lesnar in two seconds. Kenny uh, Omega winning in seven seconds. I put seven. I think even WWE said it was like three minutes. Uh, well, WWE they said um, 86 line. seconds. 86 seconds. Whoa. Uh, Kenny Omega winning the G1 Climax. Sexy Star winning Lucha Underground. I ain't counting Rick Santos because that don't mean dick. <laughs> Uh, Somebody voted right, for it. Well, yeah, the guy who wrote it. Oh, okay. T Santos. As of right now, Sexy Star is winning. Yes, but JP has not voted and neither has Sean. I'm going to have to go Sexy Star. So am I. Okay. As much as I like Kenny it. Omega, I'd have to go that one. And, that and Tur it right there. And, and Turpac won Kenny Omega G1. But with that being said, yeah, five, five to two to one. Uh, Sexy Star winning the Lucha Underground title is the moment of the year. And I actually, I fully, granted I voted for it, but I fully agree with that because there was nothing bigger there. Like, it overshadowed the fact that Kimberly one that was like the first real woman to win a big indie title. This was on television. 
Yeah, that, and that's why I put that over Kenny Omega being the first guy Jin, to win the G1. Um, the Goldberg one, that was definitely like a shocking thing. And But the James Ellsworth, that's just getting to be like ridiculous comedy now. Well, no, but at the time, though, that was like shocking moment of the year. That's a fucking shocker. Yeah. All four of those were just like, what the fuck? Like, are you, like, really? Is that just happened right now? Uh, all right. Uh, well, it's, question two was jobber of the year. I'm not even really, I'll go through the list, <laughs> but, okay, so Dave Finley, Juice Robinson, Fandango, Tyler Breeze, R-Truth, Sin Cara, Johnny Knockout, Brian Myers, Jimmy Lloyd, and James Ellsworth. Ellsworth I think ran. I like sword. Jimmy Lloyd. Everybody yeah. knows James Ellsworth, but Jimmy Lloyd. I gotta go, Jimmy Lloyd. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy is. See, Sean asked me last night why I put Jimmy was a jobber. Because he's a young boy in the only reason I really put him as a jobber is because he's a, a quote unquote young boy for CZW. And he jobs a lot. Yeah. That that basically makes him a jobber. Wait, you see, I'm gonna go Ellsworth. Oh, Ellsworth's already locked it. Uh, yeah, Ellsworth like is won by like yeah landslide already. I, I don't even watch WWE, and I saw a picture of him. Like, yeah, he's a fucking jobber. <laughs> a jobber that got a fucking contract. Like, he's the next. He's the new Dude, Colin this Delaney. This is a guy that David Flair like could out wrestle. Yeah, and that's sad. Yep. Yeah. So J James Ellsworth. Takes Jobber of the Year. Knew that was happening. We should present yes. him an award. Yeah, when we see him, we should hand him a trophy. If we ever see him at like WWE, <laughs> just hand him a trophy and take a photo <laughs> with the trophy. <laughs> okay. Tag Team of the Year. Um, God, G.O.D., Gorillas of Destiny, which was Ming's kids. DIY... The Bro Team Pack, Defiance, The Young Bucks, Private Party, Enzo and Cass, The Broken Hardies, The Hit Squad, New Day, and Heavenly Bodies. Jesus. I, I voted for The Hit Squad because, like, they made a huge impact right in CZW, won the titles. Yep. And, See, I, I actually yeah. feel like an asshole. I didn't put EYFBO. Ah, well, be nice. Or Scarlet, or Scarlet and Graves. Well, Scarlet and Graves didn't win the title till Cage, and they were always losing matches, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, I voted Broken Hardies. Yeah, I say. Right now, me, it's a, right now, it's a... Right now, it's a... VHS and the Hardys. I was going to say, right now, it's a three-way tie between Heavenly Bodies, The New Day, The Hit Squad, and one vote, which is mine, for The Broken Hardys. Well, Gee, the, the, I wonder who voted, voted for The Heavenly Bodies, Rick Santos. Yeah, Santos... <laughs> Santos and my girlfriend of three years today. Hey, happy for anniversary. Yes, Thank happy you. anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy. Yeah, she voted she voted for the bodies too. Which actually kind of shocked I gotta me. go DHS. Alright. So right now they have the lead unless Sean votes. Hit squad. Sean, what do yeah, you Yeah, I guess I'm gonna break the tie and say DHS. I voted the Hit Squad. Okay, so it's four. All right, Hit Squad is the tag team of the year. 
So when we see Moff, we got to hand him a trophy. Yeah, it's funny. Wow. At the WrestlePro Awards dinner um, last week or the week before, I asked him, can you unblock me now? <laughs> I bought your damn shirt. What did he tell? What did he I say? Your damn... He said, yeah, I'll unblock you. He still hasn't. <laughs> he still hasn't? <laughs> Uh, Mop's like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> now, my personal favorite award of these 40s, the Get the Fuck Off My TV Award. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And the nominees are Baron Corbin, Charlotte, Eva Marie, James Ells Ellsworth, uh, Bounty Snowman, Ro... Uh, Roman Reigns and Stephanie McMahon. All right, here's the thing. Here's the thing I would get. If anybody says Stephanie McMahon, I'm sorry you're wrong because Stephanie McMahon actually is giving good heel promos when a lot of heel pro, when a lot of heels in WWE, say for Kevin Owens, can't fucking talk to save their life. So that's why Stephanie has to talk. Well, Stephanie's in the lead by a lot. No shit, because everybody's a face fucker. Sorry. No, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. I like that. I will say why I voted for Stephanie. It's because she's pulling a Dixie Carter. No, she's not, because Stephanie actually has talent. Dixie well, that, has no but... talent. Chris, uh, turn Dixie back voting. Well, wait, wait, wait. Because you guys can break it because Turpat just voted Roman Reigns. Ah, uh, I'm voting. I'm Roman pretty Reigns. sure I, I already voted Roman Reigns. So yes, the, there's th if JP votes Roman, it's a tie. JP's not voting Roman. JP's voting Eva Marie. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> You oh, libertarian piece of shit. Why do you like me? No, 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 no. You libertarian. No, he's got a reason. You have he's to got a time, he's got a reason. He's got a reason. It's not a right. good, not a good reason, but um. Uh, no, fucking right now, pussy. Memory is just terrible. Oh, uh, we'll get to that because I have an I have a write in I have a I have a new question that I wanna add to this. Actually, we'll do it now. Uh, the Swedish Sugar Walls. Wait, award. I want to know his reason for Eva Marie. I mean, I okay. want to know for reason his reason for Eva Marie because I hate Eva Marie. But I'm sorry, Roman Reigns. Uh, the fuck out of here. Roman Reigns. When it rains, it bores. It, yes. it does completely. So why even Marie? I mean, I hate even Marie, but why? She, like, just looking at her just makes me want to vomit. By the way, you call those cheap implants boobs? Those aren't boobs. They're lies. They're lies. Uh, so I think of even. So even Marie, Marie, you look at her. So looking at a, I mean, she's nice to look at. She can't wrestle to save her life. But. Again, the reason for the sweet sugar wall, the sweet sugar walls award, the the chick that just TNA but no talent. Well, that's Eva Marie. Yeah, or yeah, that's Eva Marie. Hands down, that's Eva Marie. There's no other ones that are just yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could say Dana Brooke, but Dana Brooke has a little bit of talent. Yeah, and they're in her Not tits. much, but a little. They're, yeah, they're in More her More talent than Eva. Good God. Dana Brooke can actually cut a heel promo. Yes, but at the same time, Dana Brooke's True. boobs could re resurface the fucking Titanic. This is true. Fuck the door. Yeah. There's your flotation device. Fuck yes, the life but preserver. Of course, he had to... But you had to let the red win. You had to let the Republican win. What the hell? <laughs> oh, wow. That just turned a turn for the worst. Okay. 
It was a, come on, it was a joke. It was a funny I know. joke. Let's turn dark. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. so See, there's a difference. There, there, there's a difference. My jokes are funny. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't, uh, have, I don't have anything pulled up right now. I was going to try to find a fucking uh, sound bite. You know what you'd need a, for a sound bite for that? You'd need it from Eddie Murphy's Delirious or even, uh, no, Eddie Murphy Raw. Ha ha ha, very funny, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so next one. So, we're, so Stephanie McMahon wins. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Chris is pissed. So uh, I think she she a good heel promo. So I'd rather have a good heel promo than I am Roman Reigns. Because you know <laughs> he had to get. Because you know he had. You know he had to get. Hair. He had to get the rub from Goldberg last night. Dude, he's gonna have, they're just trying to make him get the rub from The Undertaker as well, okay? This is why I stopped watching WWE. As soon as the, they started shoving the rocket up Roman's ass, I stopped watching WWE. Yeah, you know I was what, like, though? I'm not gonna be there. You know what, though? They're kind of like, they're, they're shoving the rocket, rocket up Roman's ass, but at the same time, they're ripping it out as fast as they're putting it in because they still have I'm him not win the, they still have him not win the main title. You know why? Because here's the thing. When was Stone Cold Steve Austin the most interesting in the Attitude Era? When he was champ or when he was chasing the champ? Oh, when he was chasing. There it is right there. So they're going to have Roman win the title, have it for a couple months, he loses it, and then he has to constantly chase it and go through 5,000 hoops of Stephanie McMahon. But, but yet it's one time when we all want fucking Jericho to win the U.S. title. They can't fucking have him drop it. So he can get the make the big title. I'd rather have him drop the U.S. title and win the Universal title. I'll be like, fine. Fucking Jericho deserves yeah. a fucking Jericho deserves a fucking title. Roman hasn't even defended that man. title. You made the list. Since he got it. No, he's been defending it like every week against Jericho. No, that's like in the past two weeks. Before that, he wasn't defending it against anyone. WWE booking, you made the list. He he starts his career with a list, and he'll end his career with a list. Love it. <laughs> yeah, well, one was, his. It, the first one was, you know, arm bars. A 30-minute fucking and promo. A 30-minute, <laughs> a 30-minute promo. A 30-minute promo about arm bars. Perfect. Fujiwa armbar. Inverted armbar. Moss covered family redundal. <laughs> armbar. All right. Arm so. Drag. Okay. So, res right. number five, new next category Indie Wrestler of the Year. There's a lot of them. Joey Janela. Boy, Anthony, no love for Joey. <laughs> no. No Anthony, love for Joey. Anthony Bowens. Kyle the Beast. Arcadia. RSP. Desmond. Greg Excellent, Falaba, Leo Rush, Bobby Wayward, David Starr, and for some reason tied with David Starr, CPA. Who the hell is CPA? WrestlePro. All right, but what the fuck does CPA stand for? Certified Personal Certified Accountant. Certified Public Ass Kicker. He's IRS. Certified but Public Accountant. Certified He's Public Ass Kicker. That's what I say. Certified public accountant. That'd be certified public asshole. But literally, take IRS. Sh uh, I'm sorry, Nick. I have to rip on you for this. Take IRS, shrink him about an, a foot, and make him about 100 pounds lighter. So he's a certified public ass clown? Pretty much. Basically, yeah. What the hell has he done? Fuck Grado. He beat Grado. That's it. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. So, Indie Wrestler of the Year 
And it's because he beat Grado. Yeah. With a joke act. Yeah. Are you f- uh, I'm I'm moving on. I'm We're sorry. going to David Starr. Yeah, I voted. Yeah, I, I, I vote. to disqualify that. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I voted. Listen, I, I, I voted for three words to say. I voted for Wayward and Star. Oh, oh Wayward Star. Votes. What? No, no, no. I uh, my original vote. I voted for Star too. I did vote too, but Wayward wasn't gonna fucking get my any anywhere. So I voted Star too. Yeah, and I'm sure on Saturday when we're all at the show, you're gonna flip him off. I always like I'm I, going to. I love I love fucking with Bobby. Bobby is one of the better heels. By the way, fucking Leo Rush is actually gonna be at WrestlePro next week. Can't uh, wait. And he's okay. And so how many people voted for Star now? Three. I voted Star. It's I voted on you, Star. Star wins. What you? Oh, thank so God. it's five to three. Five to three. Look at look at what he's done. WWE oh, yeah, no. championship. He's gone all over the place this year, winning titles. I mean, the dude is gone. honestly, honestly, out of right there, the top guys that I would put as a as a because people were adding. So what I would I would have went with with Star, Wayward, RSP, Arcadia, and Joey. Is that fair? Gotcha. And you see, there's one on there that when I do my show, I'm naming my indie wrestler of the year, and that's Tony Deppin. Oh. Oh, by the way, that's we'll announce pick. we'll announce that if you're coming to SWF about who we might be interviewing. I sent you guys that, Tony and I no, not Tony Depp, but Brian fucking Cage and oh. Great Kali and uh, Melissa Santos. How the fuck? Great Kali, who Greg knows Kali like five words of English. What? I, uh, that, 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 uh, I don't care. Uh, I don't I, care. I, JP, I, I just want a fucking funny interview out of that one. I don't give a shit if he can't speak English. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna be in New York that day. What? He He's coming. Sexy boy. Dude, he's gonna be at Banners. Yes. <laughs> he has he's to gonna... be the Shawn Michaels theme. Yes. He's gonna. Chad's bringing on the Banners. I'm just a sexy boy. Boy toy. Oh my god. And by the way, Chad's giving us a table. I'll talk to you off air. Yeah, I think you had. I think you had mentioned that to me, but again. I'm like 90% going to be in New York City that day. Yeah, I might be too, and so is Chad. I'm going to New York for something completely different. Oh, you, yeah, you, you you didn't buy your ticket yet. Yeah, I know I didn't buy my ticket yet. <laughs> what, NXT? No, ROH. No, um, Ring of Honor. Oh, God, okay. All right, so anyway... David Starr, Indie Wrestler of the Year. Fine by me. All women, right, we woman, woman wrestler of, wrestler of the Year. We have... What, what, it sounds like a caveman. Woman Wrestler of the Year. Woman. <laughs> women. The, the Woman Wrestler woman. of the Year. The, it's oh, better than God. the fucking... Better than the fucking diva. Kimberly. Yeah. Kimberly. Leva Bates. Gail Kim. Veda Scott. Uh, Emma, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Charlotte, Mickey James, Bailey, and Asuka. Oh, I didn't vote for this one, so... Hmm. No, you did not. So have fun. I voted Asuka. Who's going to lead? Oh, Asuka's running away with this. Like, by th- it's three, two, one, one. Huh. I'm voting Asuka, so make it four. Make Fuck it five. Her. And Chris votes for c You know what? Since my vote doesn't matter, I'm voting Kimberly. Good. Okay. Fair enough. Good choice. And well, Chris ri- and Chris got and Chris writes in for c Bunny. Really, turn yeah. back. <laughs> okay. What the hell? All right. What the hell is up with that dude? Uh, 
bad wrestling exposed. Uh, bad wrestlers exposed. Okay, so I watched that <laughs> video with C Bonnie that he said yes. is so bad. She's selling ninety percent of the fucking match. She's also There's one botch. Or slip, which I can forgive because I've seen it happen before with Masada and Kasai. She's she's also and green as go goose Masada shit. Go, yeah, well, you fucked up that power bomb. She's Wait, also what? green as she's also green as goose shit. She's not even wrestling for maybe a year now. Okay, all right. So if she's green, and to work with vets like Soul Darling, Jordan Grace, and Nikki Storm, who's Nikki Adams. So yeah, to work with those. I mean, she's going to get better, and that's a hell of an honor to be even put in that match. Oh, and that's what she told me, too. And by the way, that's what I got banned for. Wait, what did C. Bonnie, what, what did she say? What did she say? She said that, she she sent me a, a Facebook message saying that she didn't even deserve to be in the ring with those, with those four, with those three. She thought, she's considered it and an it honor. And it was honor. Yeah, it was a tremendous honor to be yeah. in those in the ring with those three. Yeah, she still has to work at it. Yeah, and she knows that. But at the same time, she's also overcoming something that no one really knows about. She's partially deaf. That's the problem. But she's getting through it. Hush, so, the other guy they went after is deaf and mute. I mean, Max Hammer or whatever the fuck that guy's name is. I'm sorry, that name is horrible. I don't know the four that were up on the top. I do not know any of those four. Yeah, me either. They all look like they're 12 years old. But Hush <sighs> and Sea Bunny, Hush and Sea Bunny have been trained with with Pat Buck and WrestlePro. Hush is deaf and mute, and he's doing this. And then Sea Bunny's partially deaf. And also, you know she's so, a badass uh, so have- because she's knocked JP down like a fucking pant size. Ah. Okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, she's JP's trainer. Yes. Oh, okay. Cool. Yes. So anyway, on. let's let's um, go to the next but, one. And, and because then I we're, see the guy... Uh, uh, I see the guy... Oh, sorry. I see the guy screaming about sleeper kids. I'm like, that's porn fight. What the fuck? <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, they don't know what the hell. I I actually thought it was hilarious that I got banned from them from commenting. I thought that was great. Oh my God! Because I you know, I told them. All I told them was, I go, here's a shovel. Keep digging. They go, digging what? I go, the tremendous hole you are about to fucking fall into. <laughs> like kid sleeper i'm like dude that's a site where like female wrestlers know like that crazy pervs whack off to watching females wrestle barefoot yeah so they make extra money with that that's all they do yeah they're it's apartment wrestling so did seth seth rollins did that shit and yeah oh my god i was like that's that oh, whatever dude all right but anyway category. Please uh tv wrestler of the year so pretty much, if they were televised, it's wrestler of the year. Kenny Omega, Broken Matt Hardy, Adam Cole, Jay Lethal, Sexy Star, AJ Styles, Nakamura, Kevin Owens, Bobby Roode. I think, I think people have Bobby Roode in the lead just because of his damn theme. Yes, because the people that are voting... Well, no. Deanna actually voted for Bobby Roode because she actually knows who Bobby Roode is. Frank and Santos voted for him for the sole fact that it's his fucking theme song. Okay, well, yeah. And I voted Kevin Owen. I voted Nakamura. I'm going to go AJ. I'm so also going two, Nakamura. So that's two, 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 and three. <laughs> right now, but uh, you know what? No. As much, uh, let's see what happens, because Turpak... You have the deciding vote between AJ, Nakamura, Owens, and Rude. Don't vote Rude. Don't Don't let us down. (laughs) No. Because Rude right now has two. Top win wrestler of the year. No. Just like the at the Royal Rumble, fucking uh, 
what's his name better come out the fucking at in uh Ty Dillinger better come out at number ten. That that would be great. <laughs> yes. Um no, I I don't know. Why would they vote? I, I know why they would vote Rude. Deanna actually has a legit reason for voting Bobby Rude because she thinks that he's actually done well. Yes, she does. Well, she actually know she's watched TNN. Okay. So she knows who Bobby Rude is. But was he wrestler of the year? No. I'm sorry. No. Uh, no. AJ and Nakamura and Owens. Yeah, I could see that. And. I mean, at that same time, you have Adam Cole joining the Bullet Club. You have Kenny Omega winning G1. Okay. Matt Hardy reinvented himself completely. Okay, so who is Tarpac uh, picking here? He hasn't even... Let's go, Tarpac. While we're young, bruh. <laughs> Today, Junior... All right, we'll come. We'll come. We'll come back to him. We'll come back to him. We'll come back to it. Yes, I'll announce it when he comes back. Uh, match of the year. I went. Okay, David Starr versus Shane Strickland at best of the best. Okada, Na Okada versus Naito at Invasion Attack 2016. Kyle Beast versus Bose at Last Brett. Last Brett. Breath. Breakfast? No, JP Breath. gets that. JP, JP gets that. Uh, AJ Styles versus Nakamura, Absolutely. Wrestle Kingdom. J, uh, Wrestle Kingdom 10. Ishii versus Shibata, WrestleMania 10. Offspray versus Ricochet. Oh, oh really? <laughs> what did I say? You sure about that title there, guy. Ishii versus Shibata, Wrestle, Wrestle Kingdom 10. 10. Oh, pfft. Will Offspray versus Ricochet? <laughs> Will Offspray versus Ricochet? What? Best of the Super Juniors. I went back and corrected it. Kevin Owens okay. versus Dean Ambrose, Last Man Standing at the Rumble. Nakamura versus Sami Zayn, NXT Takeover Dallas. And Leo Rush versus Sami Callahan, K to Death 18. I'm going Shibata Ishii. I won Shibata Ishii. That's two. Not really going to matter because I think even with, if JP even voted for that, it's not beating Leo Sammy. I already voted. I already voted for Leo yeah. Sammy. Yeah, I'm going... I'm going Nakamura Zane. Okay. So by one vote, like Leo... So literally, here's what it goes. It went Leo Sammy, Nakamura Zane, Ishii Shibata. For as good as Leo Sammy was, Shibata Ishii was just better for me. Yeah, I mean different different tastes. Both had both had their strong points in that ma in those matches. All right, let's just say fuck it. Let's just say it's a three way fucking tie for them because Chris, I think, left for some reason. He ain't answering. Damn it, Any more back. Here? Okay, let's go to sports. Let's go to sports. All righty then. Coach of the year. Chris Peterson, who do you... Uh, Joe Madden. Jesus, let him, get, let, him, let him get the nominee. Damn, dude. <laughs> Adam, Adam Geese from Miami Dolphins. Adam Geese. Geese. I don't know how to fucking pr pronounce the other one. R Rune Some dude in soccer. Yes, yeah, soccer. Nick Saban, Jack Del Rio, Joe Madden, Belichick, and uh, Caldwell. Jim Caldwell. I voted for um, Saban. Sorry if a lot of these things are football, but we are football fans. Yes. Well, JP you goes. Darth Saban? Yes, Dar Saban. JP's going Joe Madden. Yeah, Nick Saban can suck my dick. <laughs> Somebody hates Nick Saban. Someone hates Alabama. Oh, man. 
Uh, yeah, Sean, so, who yeah, are you I got, voting I got for? Two words for you. I, I have no vote. I'm staying out of this one. All right, so it's I'm, a two-way. I'm all about Clemson. It's a two-way. Yeah, it's Clemson. a two-way tie between Chris Peterson and Joe Madden. Ooh, do the I, Cubs, I already voted. That's the the Cubs suck. The, the Cubs are Clemson, Sean. The Cubs are Clemson. It's not Clemson. Chris Peterson is the coach oh, sorry. for Washington. Washington. Washington or the Cubs? Basically... Washington. There you go. All right. Chris Peterson. Peterson, Peterson wins. He took, he, took a, he took a squad that was five and five. He took a squad that was five and five, and he brought them to, you know, the national championship playoff. Yeah. I mean, right there. All right. Um, and definitely go Clemson. Clemson, and by the way, Ronnie, Clemson's coach is Dabo Swinney. Okay. Salute to you. Okay. Worst, question two, worst moment slash game of the year. Notre Dame losing any game to Duke. Play? Any, Wait, let me and fucking. And if anyone says any loss by the Cleveland, all right, fine. It's fine. in the it's in the lead right now. Notre Dame losing to Duke on their and home field. Bullshit. Seattle Seahawks Ugh. versus Arizona Cardinals. The tie. <laughs> One of the most boring games of the season. Colin Kaepernick taking a knee during the national anthem. That's bullshit. The Texas Rangers versus the Toronto Blue Jays. May. 15, uh, May 15th, the fight versus them. Notre Dame versus NC State in the Monsoon game and any loss by the Cleveland Browns. Yeah. <laughs> but here's any loss by the Browns have played good games. They just get beat at the end. That's not the worst game. Now, if you watch NC State versus Notre Dame, that game should not have been played. It should have been postponed. But instead, they played in the damn river. Yeah. And like there were like nine fumbles. The game like, looked like it was in the, do anything. The game looked like it was in the Mississippi. It was in a river. It was ridiculous. In a in a van down by the river. All right. Deshaun Kaiser slid at the 15 yard line to be down. He kept sliding until the 25. <laughs> All right. It well, was ridiculous. We voted Sean. Who do you, uh, JP vote? Um, I'm going to go any game by the New York Jets in the second half of the season. <laughs> and I know I Sean ain't vote. And I know Sean ain't voting for the Cleveland Browns. So I'm voting Notre Dame. All right, so the monster you know, game. Well, t- Notre yep. Dame gets the, the Notre Dame gets in the river. Notre Dame gets yeah. the win. They were Notre in the get, river, dude. Notre Dame gets the win. That's right. Because the Browns, the Browns thing is bullshit. I'm sorry. I just wanted if to see anybody, how many fucking. I just wanted to see how many people voted for it. I'm surprised it actually almost won. That's a bullshit. I'm sorry. That's a bullshit. All right. Worst team of the year: <laughs> the 76ers, oh God. the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, Cleveland Browns, oh the New York God. Jets. Okay, let me let me say quick here. Notre Dame, nobody did less with more. Put it that way. They started out ranked number 10. They got screwed on a targeting call, and then their fans got screwed the rest of the season. <laughs> we, lost, we lost our defensive coordinator, and then our defense got better, and then it got worse. It, it was a horrible, horrible season that included losing to Duke on your home field, getting yeah. blown out by USC. All um, I have to all I'll say is, is JP is going to lack this. I know, losing the Navy, but nobody did less with more. You think it, nobody yeah. did more with less? Nobody did less with more. Hey, JP, do me a favor. Blow me out of my misery. Who are you voting for? J-E-T-S-S-E-C-K. Yep, Jet, New York Jets are the worst team of the year. <laughs> See, I have, a, I have a feeling that was based on one game. Why? The Jets? 
the Monday night game. Oh, God, yeah. Because nobody was saying the Jets suck that bad until they got blown out by the hapless Colts. Yeah. Especially a year before that, they beat them, like, they beat the shit out of them. And didn't they just beat, didn't they just win their last game? Yeah. Yeah, against the Buffalo Bills team that lost well, shady about halfway through due to, due to an ankle injury. The only game where I'll ever see the longest onside kick ever. But if you're they, the worst team... They uh, kicked... Oh, oh, wait, oh, that wait, oh, no. God. Yeah, yeah, the longest onside kick ever. <laughs> oh, I remember that. I was laughing my ass off. How the fuck do you not dive on that ball at any point? See, that's not... All right, I'll say this right now. That's not a worst team of the year play. Worst no. team of the year play is the team that would do that. Yeah, the Bills. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, the Jets God, are the worst I'm team of the year. Fine, the Jets. And, and I was even... Bullshit, and I would, I would even say that because... Kaepernick threw more fuck it, not Kaepernick. Fitzpatrick threw more picks than Razor Ramon. Damn. <laughs> okay. And I'm a jet. And I'm a games. jet fan. So, all right, best moment slash game of the year: Penn State versus Ohio State. Denver versus awesome Kansas game. City. Denver versus KC. That that was the that was the strength game. That was the strength the game. Stoink, that overtime. Yes. Um, Green Bay versus Arizona. The Cardinals, Packers versus Cardinals. Playoff. That was the playoff game. Yes. From early in the year. The the no, the wild the Villanova Wildcats versus the North Carolina Tar Heels. The conference the uh, March Madness yep. Finals. NC yep NCAA championship game. Wisconsin Badgers versus Penn State Nitt Nittany Lions. The comeback. Uh, Clemson versus Bama one. Yep. Michigan versus Ohio State. Army versus Navy. Cubs versus Indians, game seven. The Volunteers versus the Bulldogs. The Double Hail, Hail Mary, Mary game. Times two. That was insane. JP, who you vote for? Game seven, Cubs versus Cleveland. Okay. So it is a so tie with, uh, with Tennessee and with the Bulldogs. Sean. What's up? Who you vote for? Cubs? <laughs> the Game 7 or the Double Hill Marys? I don't fucking know. I guess the Game 7. Oh. We... Hey, 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 listen. It is a great moment because the Cubs winning the World Series it was a big is. moment. It is. It is. I mean, yeah, the Cubs breaking up. Was it, it kind of ten years it, or one hundred eight years? One hundred and eight years. Here's the thing. It's the only one that fits both at the same time. Greatest game of the year and greatest moment of the year. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Damn. Now we have See, a great I, I, category. The worst LV player of the year? Yes, the LVP, the worst player of the year. And the nominees are Blaine Gabbert, Blake Borles, the Oregon defense, the Notre Dame defense, Colin Kaepernick, and Phil CM Punk Brooks. See, the Notre Dame Noticeably absent from this list is Ryan Fitzpatrick. Because he won more games than Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Uh, and Notre he threw Dame more Dame. interceptions than Notre Dame's quarterback. Yeah, well. It doesn't matter, though. I'm sorry, but Kaepernick was, <laughs> Ka Ka Kaepernick was worse than fucking. See, was worse than him. Oh, Kaepernick. hands down, and that's my pick. My pick is Kaepernick. Yeah, Kaepernick ran away with this. shit's less than he takes a knee. I think his football right, skills I... suck. All right, can I say how many. All right, let me say something quick. A lot of a lot of the Kaepernick thing is more politically charged than anything. 
I mean, yes, he did set an NFL record that is going to go down in horrible history, which was he got sacked five times and only threw for four yards. But yeah. that being said, I don't think he's the worst player. He had a better chance of just I mean, taking a knee. I mean, he really did. That's not even a joke. He had a better chance of taking a knee and saving himself from getting hit. But that's more politically charged. Again, like I said. Yeah, but he still, was, he still where... was one of the worst players this year. Kaepernick was up there, too. CM hey, Punk. Who CM Punk. Replace? Who did Kaepernick replace? Blaine fucking Gabbert. Who <laughs> sucks. I mean, Kaepernick uh, still has his job. Kaepernick still has his job, but he can't be the worst. I mean, Notre the Dame. The 49ers do pick second in the draft. Yeah, because they had no defense. Same as Notre Dame. Notre Dame had no defense. That's what it stood for. No defense. <sighs> but Brooks, but CM Punk got, you know, uh, that was horrible. The only Blake thing Bortles, I'll give. Nobody here's the thing. Inter- All right, nobody threw more interceptions than Blake Bortles. Yeah. Well, just to give you guys a heads up, we have 27 minutes, so. <laughs> I mean, Blake Bortles was like the Mark Sanchez of this year, okay? And, and Sanchez, believe it or not, the person that Sanchez threw, a pick that threw the too. most interceptions was Philip Rivers. Well, he throws a lot of balls. I mean, he's like Brett Favre. By the way, too, uh, speaking of Sanchez, he only threw like three passes, and one of them was a pick. <laughs> no, two of them were picks. Two, two of them were, were picks. picks. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> One to a wide open cornerback, man. That cornerback was wide open. Hey, at least he didn't hit anyone in the ass. He, didn't, he wasn't playing long enough. <laughs> All right. So, Kaepernick wins. Uh, but right. next yeah. next one, sports team of the year. We got to get going. We have like 27 minutes. Sports team of the year. The Patriots, right. Golden State Warriors, Crimson Tide, Chicago Cubs, Pittsburgh Steelers, Cleveland Cavaliers. Sean, I already know who you're voting for, so Cavs already locked it in. Yes. Unless, unless JP votes for something else, Cavs locked it in. Uh, it's a tough one, um, but I'm going to stick with the way I've been going all, all night. I'm going the Cubbies. All right, well, they still locked it in. Four to three. Cavs yeah. win. Cavs win. They came back from 0-3. Yeah. All right, so MVP, most valuable player. I only had four. Jimmy Johnson in NASCAR, Steph Curry, Tom Brady, LeBron James. It's got to be Braun. I'm sorry. It's got to be Braun this year. Yep. Braun. All right, LeBron James wins. Sports, done. Yep. Now, we're on, now we're on the video games. All righty. All right, so... The, we're going to just start off with the shit. The drizzling shits. Worst game of the year. Battleborn. Star Fox Zero. Quant, Quantum Break. Not of all time. Bioshock the Collection. Mighty Number no. 9. Fallout 4. Superhero Math. Pokemon Go. And No Man's Sky. How was it not Pokemon, Pokemon Go? Go better be in there. What? Because No Man's Sky was, was like shit. way worse. It was so People overrated, paid, so overhyped, yeah, and like in a month it was over. No Man's Sky. People paid for No Man's Sky. People paid for No Man's Sky. That's why it's effectively People paid worse. $60 for a tech death. For not even, for a lie. For a lie. Dude, for not even dude, an alpha build. Dude, people paid thousands of dollars to walk around collecting dumbass fucking Pokemon, and then they stopped playing the game after Here's the a thing, month. though. Here's the thing, though. That was it their... It was playable. It was playable. It was still playable. And more people got a lot more awesome. exercise. It Dude, it was Rape Amon Go, okay? It was creepy. It was rapey. It was stalky. I still love the fact that they had a sex... They had a, they had a child molester uh, sensor in there. Game. Well, as bad as no Man's Sky. Here's the thing, no offense, but here's the thing. Alpha 
Yeah, No Man's Sky wins. So it's already won. If people, you, Pokemon Go was at least free. People paid for No Man's Sky. Companies will offer yeah. refunds. God this damn. Is shit. That yeah. isn't shit. Like, people that, like, Steam was offering, Steam and I believe the PlayStation Store were offering refunds. Yeah, they were offering That's refunds on digital. Sky was. On digital. Damn. Okay. So, yeah. No Man's Sky wins. No Man's Sky deserves that. Uh, fighter, fighter of the yeah. year. Kings of, King of Fighter 14. Ultimate Marvel Capcom 3. Blaz Blue. Blaze Blue, Blaze Blue, whatever. Blaze Blue. Poke, uh, Pokin Tournament. Didn't win, so it doesn't matter. Pokin Tournament, Steel Rivals, and your winner. We don't even have to vote on this. It's Street Fighter V. <laughs> Nothing else mattered. Nope. True. JP, you don't even have to vote because it's, it's five, six, six, one, one. Sweet. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna skip this one because RPG of the year is Final Fantasy 15. Next, I didn't even I love that game. But who gives a fuck? Final Fantasy 15 is gotten five to one one. Next, shooter of the year. Here we go. Um, super hot. COD I uh identity uh Infinite Warfare Titanfall two Battlefield one. Four, four computer games that I have no fucking clue about. Doom and Over <laughs> Doom and Overwatch. Overwatch. I know you voted for Battlefield, Chris. What about you, JP? I voted for Battlefield One. Black Ops. Black that Ops was wasn't the only out this year. I played this year. All right. Well, and that didn't come out this year. Infinite Warfare, you mean? COD U. No, I didn't play Infinite Warfare. I played Black Ops 3. Well, then you are two years in. Yes. Um, hmm. Over, Overwatch wins. Fair enough. Um, yeah, indie yeah, Game of the Year. Indie Game of the Year. We don't have to vote on it. It's Friday the 13th. That's an alpha build. <laughs> there it is. Or it's in beta build, I should even say. Hmm. <laughs> Video game of the year. Uh, oh, no. Hype, hype, game. hype game for 2017. Uncharted, the new Uncharted game, Sonic Mania, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Resident Evil 7, Last of Us Part 2, and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And I just made it interesting because I just voted for Last of Us Part 2. Oh, fuck you. I'm voting Sonic Mania. <laughs> so JP I'm has it. JP, what are you voting for? What are you voting for? Um, I'm gonna go Marvel Capcom. Yeah. Okay. MVCI. Yeah. MVCI wins it. Uh, I think you wanted that one. Uh, yes, because that game actually looks like fun. I hate. I personally hate The Last of Us. I think it is a ah. shit game. It is a shit game. Oh, whatever. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Whatever. Think. Whatever. I will always fight with someone about it. It is a shit game. Whatever. The controls suck. It's survival horror. It still sucks. It's it's fucking like Uncharted. It's a movie. You but you want controls that suck, play Silent Hill, okay? Well, that, yeah, well, <laughs> okay, good point, good point. Those okay, now, suck, but the game is so amazing. Now, the final category of the Porties, video game of the year. We have Titanfall 2, COD, Super Hot Doom, Final Fantasy 15, Dank Souls, NHL 2017, Star Fox Zero, get the fuck out of here, no, that's, no, um, <laughs> Tokyo Merge Starbox card. What the fuck is that? One of the worst games of the year. It can fucking get out off my list. <laughs> God damn, that was fast. Oh, dude, it's terrible. It's fucking. It's 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 a upgraded version of Star Fox sixty four. Oh fuck that game. 
Why don't they um, Superman 64 on? Oh, good. No, I'll play Star Fox 64 any day of the week. But Mario, Col Mario, uh, Paper Mario Color Smash, Street Fighter Five, and Overwatch. JP, who did you vote Overwatch. for? Overwatch. So, yeah, Overwatch took Final it. Final Fantasy but... Fifteen. I thought I, I thought Street Fighter Five sucked. Because you don't play fighters. No, I usually do play fighters. Street Fighter Five. I don't like shooters. So Overwatch can suck my balls. I voted Doom just because I am very an old school Doom player. And Doom is I like Doom. I, out, of, out of my top ten, Doom was my number one overall. But for this for the awards, Overwatch is the winner. Which is not bad too. That was number two on my list. Uh, I'm not really complaining about that. And then Street Fighter V. And then a game I didn't even put on here, I forgot to. Civ VI. Civilization. Such a, it's such a good game. Okay. But... If you played Civilization, you could, you could spend hours playing that fucking game. Yeah. Boy, and, boy, we, we, we knocked through that fast. Well, because everything was already kind of decided. There, there was no, like, anything close. We didn't have to defend anything. Uh, I, I, uh, I made some, I made some, uh, you know, what's the word, persuasions for some sports categories, though. Yeah, well, no, like, the sports one and the, the wrestling ones actually took time. Like, that actually was fun. That actually is something that I can't wait to do next year, like... Because you actually can explain things about what happened in this and that, where a video game is just like, was this good? Yeah, it sucked. This was good. This sucked. Yeah, like, same as movies. I think we should have movie categories, too, next year. That's fine. I think I think next year we'll knock everything down. We'll, we'll have this going up longer. And I'll, I'll set up a, a, a thing where you can just put in certain categories. Like, you can put in what you want. TV. TV. Netflix shows. That's um, like fine. TV, Netflix shows, movies. Well, that is the... And prevent that... Rick Santos and Frank Knight for voting for Glorious and the Heavenly Bodies. No, okay, no. No. Next year, how about we do this? We'll do one of all time. We'll do the, of all time, best entrance music. Rick Santos's favorite wrestler. <laughs> that would be a category. Rick the Santos heavenly, the heavenly, wrestler. the heavenly bodies. <laughs> Can dude, only pick I, one. Yeah, the heavenly bodies. The dude spends so much time on his knees. I should buy him knee pads for Christmas. No, no, I'm sorry. No, no it has to, it has to be No, it has to be wrestler. So we'd have to choose between one of the heavenly bodies. Oh God. Ah. <laughs> uh, Dust, uh, just a buster. a buster, buster, <laughs> yes, buster. There we go. Rick Santos's favorite wrestler. There we go. <laughs> That's new category. Rick, Rick Santos's favorite character, his favorite wrestler is Buster. <laughs> oh, god, <laughs> creating dissension. I don't give a shit. It that was that dude, but that was actually a lot of fun because it made it just we actually had like the, this type of show is fun when we can have four people to bullshit. Yes, even if it's sports or movies or God knows what. I mean, and it doesn't. Like, and JP, oh, it doesn't category, have to be every another week. Category. Another category you could have. Idiotic political move of the year. Because that's coming. Oh. <laughs> what do we got? We got 20 days? Or 18 days? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There'll be write-ins, like a whole sheet on a write-in. Yeah, I think you might as well might just leave that one as like an open category to write to write-ins. <laughs> there it is right there. Dumb Trump moment of the year. <laughs> Done. <laughs> 
write in every write, single yeah, one of them. Who who is a better <laughs> president? Winners, all of them. Who's a better president than Trump? All write ins. Harambe, Harambe, <laughs> Harambe. <laughs> Kurt Warner. I'm gonna go with Kurt Warner because he could, you know, he led a defense. He got an offense. He could lead a country. Why not? George Washington's <laughs> gravestone. <laughs> Pepe Still the live. Frog. Pepe the Frog. That's fucked up, man. That is <laughs> that, fucked up. That white because supremacist Pepe. Now, yes. Except it's a meme and totally not anything dealing with that. Hey, hey, hey! That's um, out of my. Well, not, I yeah. did not. No one. You did not see that coming. Right. Is that a mind comfort Phil one? Sims, he could bore. Phil Sims, fuck war. He could just bore them to death. Uh, he could talk about great quarterbacking. Uh, but with that being said, I guess we will close out the porties for 2016. Now 2017. What do we have? What do we have? 10 minutes left? Yeah, if we want to bullshit, we can. Why not? Oh, uh, you know what? Fast. You know what? You know what? No, we never finished the NFL. Uh, the last of the NFL picks. Oh, I thought we did. We only did the ones for this week because they're anyone but Brady. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. I'm dipping out though because I'm headed to go see Rogue One. So enjoy. All right. Have fun. Enjoy. All right, Sean. Be with you. May the force be with you. Peace, nerds. <laughs> Peace, nerds. Nerds. Uh, right, well, quick. Um, um, another movie that if you haven't seen yet, see it. Especially if you want a date movie with a girl, go see La La Land. Trust me. Like with a get... real life girl. Yeah, with a real life girl, it, it, or blow up doll. You know, I would do that with a matinee in the back, but. But it's gotta, oh, you gotta make sure you gotta make sure it has a good wig. <laughs> or if you just like music, all right. Or if you just like movie musicals, go see La La Land. It's that good. Fifty Shades. Oh, good God! Why are you an actual fucking movie? What, Fifty Shades of Black? No, Fifty Shades Darker. It's, it's the sequel. It's the Fifty... It's Fifty oh, Shades God. of Grey. The, it's the sequel. The Fifty Shades of Grey. Dude, oh, God. <laughs> it, it, is it bad enough that I'm starting to get into, like, the teen movies? Like, the teen sci-fi movies? Because I've just got... Well, because I like sci-fi stuff. I like, you know, the action stuff. I love The Hunger Games. So I was like, hey, let's see what other movies that are based on books. And I caught Divergent on TV. Virgin wasn't a bad movie. It, was, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> so, with, so with my T-Mobile Tuesday thing, I rented Insurgent for tonight. Seeing how the sequel is. So you but know. then I heard it'll go downhill. Like, But you know, movies that are coming out this year... We got fucking Triple X. Oh, yeah, the return of Xander Cage. Why yeah, why the fuck did they bring that back? Why can't they cross over Xander Cage, like Triple X, with Fast and the Furious and Fate of the Furious? Did you like see a big the... shit bomb anyway. Okay, honest, honest to truth, did anyone watch the trailer for Fest, for the, for the new fa fate, fate of the Furious? It's so yeah. stupid. Oh, my God, it, it is, is so over the... It is so over the top. They get chased by a fucking sub in a tank. <laughs> dude, dude, it's because it's like Nicolas Cage territory now. I'm, I'm, I'm saying drive angry territory now. Yes. And, and to think they're doing two more. As God, a right, because you know why it makes money. Crossover triple X. With that diesel versus diesel. <laughs> um, uh, got, right, no. Real Resident... quick, I just saw this on Facebook. Um, don't date a man with a beard until you've seen him without it. You think you landed for Thor, 
He shaves, and boom, Pee Wee Herman. Somebody replies, don't date a girl till you see her without makeup. You think you landed Angelina Jolie, she takes it off, and boom, Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Ow. Uh, That's pretty funny. <laughs> you got John Wick 2 coming out. Damn. That could be good. That could be good. Yes. Uh, fist fight with Ice Cube. That, that looks funny. That looks funny. Yeah, that does look funny. Uh, uh, then you have the uh, you have Resident Evil. Finally, yes. it's over. Finally, Mila Jovovich is yeah. finally gonna. You got that, and then you got Kate Beckinsale with. Uh, oh, you got Logan. Logan's coming out too. Oh, uh, oh. Then you also have Underworld. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Logan. T- uh, this my Scientology movie. What? No, there's a Scientology movie coming out. Uh, Kong Skull oh, Island. Oh, God. Kong Skull Island. See, here's the thing. I, I may go see the Scientology movie just to laugh at it, especially after watching Scientology The Aftermath, which is a great show, by the way. Um, by the way, are you going to go see The Wall? The, the, the Wall? The movie? Yeah. It's a John Cena movie where John Cena lays there after getting shot. <laughs> oh, fuck that. No. <laughs> oh, I oh, saw the previews for that. I was like, yeah, no. Uh, oh, Beauty the Matt the Damon Be- movie? No. Beauty and the Beast? I may go... I may... If I'm dating a girl, I will take her to see Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> the movie I will be seeing, March 24th, Power Rangers... Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, yeah. Elizabeth Banks is the Green Who Ranger. Who knows how good it's going to be, but... It, dude, oh, they, God, they're, no. they're already announced the fucking sequel because of story... because of fucking plot device that I've heard already. Please tell me he doesn't become the White Power Ranger. No, but... There's no one in chat. So, spoilers, if you're listening on iTunes, skip ahead. Uh, or just stop it right here. She is the Green Ranger turned evil. Okay. So it's kind of like the whole thing with Tommy. But she's trying to build up Goldar that to go find the Zeo crystal. And right away, I'm just like, this is so stupid. <laughs> but it's Power Rangers and Brian Cranston Zordon. I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, as, as long as they stay away from the White Power Ranger, I'm good. Because uh, no, th- watching that, watching Tommy all of a sudden turn into the White Power Ranger and giving the Nazi salute, I was like, ah, I'm done with Power Rangers. There's only one reason I will go see if they're, they have a White Ranger, and that's if Tommy's in it. If That's if fucking Jason David Frank is the White Ranger. Yeah. No, no White Power Ranger. Or... <laughs> With or he's gotta be, or he's gotta be, horrible. or he's gotta be the, he's gotta be the Red Ranger. You know, the Native Americans gotta be the Red Ranger. <laughs> oh God! The fact that he's an oh, MMA fighter and he wanted to fight CM Punk, Punk should have taken the fight. I would have loved to have seen that. They, they, oh, he God. wanted to do a charity fight at UFC. Dana White was for it. Punk turned it down. Oh. Uh, Ghost Ghost in... say yes for that now. Yeah, Ghost in a Shell. Who knows? It's a Scarlett Johansson movie. Who knows? Scarlett Johansson half naked. Uh, you got my money already. I'll go with it. <laughs> and it's also based off the anime, which the anime is fucking amazing. Yeah. Uh, Smurfs. No, God, no. Fuck that, no. Would you go see Smurfs or the Emoji Movie? The Emoji Movie. <laughs> the emoji Movie. You're forgetting Lego Batman. Lego Batman, yes. Uh, Lego Ninjago. Ninjago is another one. Fuck that. Fuck that. Guardians of the Galaxy. I am Groot. I am Groot. Great. 
No, Guardians, no, it it's great. You just yes, yeah, Guardians versus Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, Alien, Alien Covenant. Uh huh. Yeah. Fucking Baywatch, baby. No. Oh, God. No, 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 don't give me that, because The Rock, The Rock, Zac Efron, and uh, Anna, uh, Alexander Daddario running down a fucking beach, it's doing the whole slow-mo thing, they pan across the girls, their their boobs are bouncing like always, it gets to The Rock, his pecs are jiggling. Do, do they have, do they have the song, I'll be ready, I'll be ready. It's all, it's all jokes, ba- yes, it's all like Baywatch jokes. By the way, Pam Anderson and David Hasselhoff are in this movie. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll see it just for like kissing giggles. <laughs> uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, right, um, the new Pirates movie. Yeah. What? Yeah. How many more of these movies are they going to fucking make? Well, Fuck isn't, that. well, I don't know. Wonder fucking woman. Uh, yes, Wonder Woman, Ju- Justice League. Yes, completely. Yes, Captain Wonder Underpants. Gonna be like fucking Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants. Yes, Kevin Hart is playing Captain Underpants. If you okay. ever read the book, right. if, you, right. if, you, right. if you've ever Captain read the Underpants, if you've ever read the books, you know what Captain Underpants is. Oh, oh, uh, dude, I'm in just by the name alone. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, World War Z two, the Mummy. Eh. Tom Cruise as the Mummy. Oh, Cars, God. Cars three. All right, all right, the Mummy is gonna be a shit bomb movie. I guarantee that. That's gonna be an overblown yes. shit bomb. Well, it's the cinematic universe of the monsters. So they're side- This is kind of the first one that's setting up the world. The new Kingsman. Yeah, new but Kingsman they've already movie. fucked it up. They've already fucked yeah. it up. Transformers, the new Mark Wahlberg movie. Uh, oh, I'll, no. I'll Transformers of the Furious, because it's the same plot as Fast and the Fur- Fate and the Furious. Yep. Uh, Despicable Me 3. Evil. Despicable Me 3. <laughs> That's another one. They're just pumping those things out so they can make fucking 90 money. 90 seconds. Uh, yeah. Spider-Man, no. War of the Planet of the Apes. Of course, Spider-Man, yes. And War of the Planet of the Apes, yes. Uh, the Dark Tower is going to be a good movie. And we, yeah. have 90 se- and we have 90 seconds, so we should kind of wrap this up. All right, all right. The movie I'm looking forward to is Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman should be interesting. I'm hoping they don't fuck it up, though. I think Wonder Woman is going to be... Uh, 60 seconds. Success. And a lot of girls are going to really be about Wonder Woman, like they were about Holly Quinn. Yeah, I can see that. But with that being said, that is the final words. Um, this was the Porties. This is the Nerd Zone. This is the Nerdport Network. I am F and Ronnie. I am Chris. You can find me on Twitter at Mrs. Fit NXP. <laughs> JP. And I'm just God. Yeah, you're the overlord. You wish you were God. Yeah, then who oh, would God, win in a fight? Then who, then who would win in a fight, Lemmy or God? Lemmy. God. Trick question, dickheads. God. Lemmy God. is God. God. <laughs> but with that being said, uh, everyone... Everyone, have Ten a good night. Because we got to get going. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. See ya. Yeah.